Following Diana's passing, Prince Harry was accused of using security concerns as emotional blackmail. This video will break everything down for you, so remember to subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more updates. There has been an ongoing dispute between Prince Harry's security team and the Home Office and the Metropolitan Police. After he and his new wife, Meghan Markle, stepped down from their previous high-profile royal positions, they were no longer provided with police protection at taxpayer expense. After offering to cover the cost of Met services, the Duke of Sussex was turned down. The Prince has previously stated that, without police protection, he does not feel safe bringing his family to the UK. The Prince's legal representative issued a statement in January, after the news of Harry's security concerns broke, in which he explained the situation, saying, the UK will always be Prince Harry's home and a country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. Too much danger awaits an individual due to the absence of police protection. While the Duke and Duchess of Sussex pay for their own private security detail, they are still not as safe in the United Kingdom as they would be with the regular police force. Without that kind of security, Prince Harry and his family can't go back to their house. High-level police protection was provided for Harry and Meghan during their June return for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Now, an established journalist claims that the prince employs security card as emotional blackmail after what happened to his mother in the summer of 1997. Kinsey Schofield of TotaFordAily.com spoke with journalist Mike Perry, who broke the shocking news of Diana, Princess of Wales' death to the world, on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of the royal's passing. The conversation turned to the topic of how many security personnel would accompany the royal on overseas trips. In spite of their rocky relationship over the past few years, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, along with the rest of the royal family, have come together in their time of mourning for the Queen. Concerns have been raised about whether or not this will prevent a rapprochement between Harry, the Prince of Wales, and their father, King Charles III. The Duke attended the state funeral of their grandmother alongside his brother William, despite having stepped back from royal duties and not being allowed to wear uniform on Monday. To participate in the committal service and interment, which will place the Queen next to the brother's grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, Harry and Meghan traveled to Windsor with the rest of the royal family. This summer, the Queen had a very private meeting with Lilibet, her 11th great-grandchild, and Archie, whom she hadn't seen in two years, at Frogmore Cottage. According to the Mirror, Harry and Meghan were eager to take an official photograph of their daughter with her great-grandmother during this meeting. This was initially turned down because the Queen was said to have a bloodshot eye, but royal expert Camilla Tomini writes in The Telegraph that Harry was persistent in his pursuit of a photo. She claims that the couple was denied permission to have official portraits made of their three-year-old son Archie and one-year-old daughter Lilibet because they made another beeline for Windsor Castle, traveling straight there after landing at Farnborough Airport. By feigning a bloodshot eye, she deftly prevented the Sussexes from getting their hands on the photo op they had been hoping for. Witnesses say Harry was persistent in his request for an official photo of the two Lilibets together at some point in the future. Naturally, though, that outcome was impossible. Three months later, she passed away. This serves as a teaser for Harry and Meghan's shocking announcement. The Prince's comments about leaking and planting of stories within the family in the Netflix series have sparked heated debate around the world. What is your take on this topic? Please subscribe and leave a comment.